Hey, church, we just want to give a couple of announcements from the kids. Aaron's going to give some later uh, for the youth, and then we're going to finish up with Ricky uh, giving for the church-wide announcements for our Annie Armstrong and all those good things for this Sunday. Uh, but for the kids' side of things, we have coming up on May 21st, our Awana Banquet. And so at the end of the year, every school year, we finish off by celebrating what these kids have done through the school year. They've been working really hard. They've been going through all their books, and we want to celebrate what they've done. And so you don't even have to have a kid in the Awana program to come celebrate with them. But what I do need you to do for me is to fill out the link that's in this video um, so I can know how much food I need to order. Or on in your bulletin on Sunday, there's a QR code on one of those little pictures that we have on there. You can uh, scan your camera on that QR code and you can fill out the form that it sends you to there as well. And then also coming up in June, uh, we have our Vacation Bible School. And so we've kind of pushed it back a couple weeks just because of the SBC annual meeting in New Orleans and uh, youth camp the week before. So it is going to be June the 19th through the 23rd. And so if you want to help, if you want to volunteer, uh, I need your help. Whether if you want to teach, uh, if you want to assist a teacher, whether you want to play with kids in games or wherever you want to help by bringing them to class, it doesn't matter. I need volunteers. And so if you would please reach out to me, uh, that would be very, very helpful. Or reach out to one of our staff members who can get me in touch with you. Uh, we need help. We're looking at about 250 kids this year. And so we need as much help as possible for this year's Vacation Bible School. Again, that is June the 19th through the 23rd. So I would ask that you please pray about it. Uh, see if God is wanting you to help. But I promise you, we are going to need your help. And then after that, uh, coming up in June on the 4th, we are going to be doing our church-wide K-group. And so usually during the summer, we get all together as a church and we have our K-groups in the gym. The first one is going to be taught by Dr. Queen. And so if you could use the link in this video to sign up so we know how much food that we need to provide for y'all as well. Uh, we are going to be having a theme and we'll be sending out uh, some information via email for y'all so y'all can bring some of the foods to go with that kind of theme. Other than that, I'm going to shoot it over to Aaron and he's going to give the rest of the announcements. Hey guys, I want to give you a couple of announcements regarding the student ministry. So first, if you're going to camp, your final deposit our final payment is due April 30th. It's $325 if you haven't made any other payments. So please get those in. I know Pastor Ricky really doesn't want to pay for your kid to go to camp. If you need financial assistance scholarships, we have those available. The money was given for that. So please, please, please do not let that stop your kid from going to camp. We want your kid to go. It's a week that they're not going to want to miss. Uh, also, on April 29th, we've set up a couple of events. First off, we've got a father-son fishing adventure thing that's going to happen. It's going to start at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, and go till probably 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Lunch is provided in that. For the mothers and their daughters, uh, y'all are going to go shopping. Uh, my wife Emily is going to take y'all down into Cleburne to some of the shops down there. And uh, y'all are going to do lunch down there and stuff. So uh, there's going to be a link in the description. Please sign up if you want to go so we have an idea who's going to be there. So we can set up logistics and some of that. And I will follow up with an email with all the rest of the details that are going to go along with that. Uh, finally, our church picnic, the all church picnic to finish off the year is May 31st. It's going to be from 630 to 8, our normal Wednesday night service time. But we're going to have food and games and fun and we're going to have a cornhole set up, nine square, uh, gaga pit, Josh is getting a bounce house. Uh, so what we need you to do is we're providing the hot dogs and the drinks. Uh, we need you to sign up to bring either a drink or a dessert or chips or something of that nature. So that form again will be in the description below. Or on Sunday, if you forget in the bulletin, uh, there's a QR code. So scan that QR code, let it come up, fill it out so that we can make the arrangements for that as needed. Uh, so I'm going to kick it off to Ricky now to give the rest of the announcements. Thank you guys. See you on Sunday. Hey there, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm out running some errands today, and so I wasn't around to record. So I wanted to share a couple things with you, though, to make sure they made the announcements this week. First and foremost, as you know, we have been uh, taking up gifts for our Annie Armstrong Easter offering that goes to support North American Mission Board church planners, chaplains. And so I'm so excited to announce to you today that not only have we met our $11,000 goal, but we have exceeded it. To date, we have received $13,300. $149. So praise the Lord for that. Thank you for your faithful giving. If you've not given yet uh, and you, you just hadn't got there yet, we'll still be receiving those gifts for a few more weeks. You can still give those gifts, but thank you church for your faithful giving. 
Um, and then the final thing I want to is just to remind you this Sunday, we're going to gather, we're going to study uh, the word together at 945 in Bible study classes throughout the church kids all the way on up through everybody. We have a place for everyone. Uh, I want you to be there at 945. And then at 1045, we're going to gather for corporate worship. I've asked Pastor Matt to preach this Sunday. Uh, so he's going to preach the word, but he's also going to be giving us a not quite almost two year update on our Hoosier One. And so uh, come be here, um, hear the report about how uh, we at Lane Prairie Baptist Church have been doing and stewarding the gospel. And so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to worshiping with you and I hope to see you this Sunday.